welcome to my apartment. I mean, you practically live here already. I've been here so many times. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys a little tour of my apartment that I did promise maybe like a year ago, but never really finished. <laughs> so I've lived here for two and a half years and I've renovated a little bit. So the floors are done, I've done kitchens and there's some, you know, like storage for all my clothes. So hallway where I keep all my jackets and shoes. And then of course here. <laughs> oh, it's one of those like push girl. Shoes. A lot of shoes. So giving you the full tour. Starting here we have the kitchen. And when we moved in, it was completely white. Like the building is from 2007, so it's relatively new, but it was still not really on par with the look that I wanted. So we did a complete renovation and ripped out the entire kitchen. I got these beautiful fronts from Lux by Robo, and the interior is from IKEA, but I had to have light. Like lights in the in the drawers is just life changing. It's honestly a small buck extra. If you're already doing a renovation, you might as well do it, you know? So I feel like it just gives it such a nice and luxurious feel. And look how soft that clothes look is. Look at that, yeah. the soft clothes, girl. Also the best, this is my favorite. This one has electric push. So this oh, is like uh, for the trash bin. And like, you know when you're doing the dishes and everything is just so messy and your hands are messy and then you have to open a drawer? Nuh uh. So this is just like, Boom, oh. open all the way out oh. and you can just throw out your trash. I didn't want to buy a full complete kitchen because I had like specific details on everything that I wanted. Like for example, like, even the vent, like that's something I had to like order like specifically. Otherwise it would be like an ugly like a white plastic. One. Yeah, yeah, I have a plastic one. So I just like, those are the type of details that I was like really micromanaging. Like this one we picked out ourselves like all the outlets and everything. We picked out all the appliances ourselves as well because I wanted specific things. Maximize the storage here. And everything actually fits older family members. They're always questioning like, why do you have any cuppers like up here? Oh yeah, it's quite different. Uh, yeah, and let's be real. I am too short to actually reach. So what am I gonna do with five cuppers up here? <laughs> Nothing. So I just removed them and it gives the apartment such a wider look. And I honestly love how it's just clean and neat. I don't like having a lot of things like out. You know, Asian, Asian childhood trauma where they have just everything cluttered everywhere. I don't want that. If you maximize all the storage units, like by having like multiple drawers inside, you can really just like opt to not have that and honestly the renovation just gets cheaper i love the walnut and the counter top the counter top yeah not a stone like pure so it's like composite that's supposedly one of like the strongest materials because if you have like raw stone it's very porous and that's not very good if you cook a lot like i do so this is just like the best low maintenance countertop for for the price like big buck no, that's not what you say. Best buck for value? No, that's not. Whatever. Best value for buck? Best, value. Best bang for buck! Yes! You what get should... the bang for the buck. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a little sideboard or credenza or however you want to call it. And I really love, as you know, vintage or secondhand interior. I just, the thrill of finding that one piece and you just made a good bargain on it. It just tingles my soul, you know? Oh my god, I remember when you got these, we were at this event dinner, and on the dinner, like, I was while like, we were having dinner, you were getting alarms <laughs> to like bid on this? Yes, and I want to, which is amazing. These were initially shelves that I just built together. Here I have like storage, so this is like my little hobby unit. Like, I have my nail stuff. It's kind of messy right now, but Muji just closed in Sweden, so I can't find my organizers that are a perfect fit for these that I have in my other drawers already. Then here I have bigger bags, not purses, but like, you know, laptop, weekend bags, shoulder bags. And it's just, yeah, I need to find some better storage for that. 
I just have like some things on display here, like for example this. Carbonator. It? It's a carbonator. It's like a soda stream, but soda like a stream. fancy soda stream. But a fancy one. Like you only have to use Oh my god, I'm gonna show you guys. So you just need to use like one hand. So you just like click it in. Oh wow. I have never seen that. And then and so then it's like a spaceship. Up, and then boom, you have your carbonated water. Oh wow, I didn't so, know that worked like that. Very nice. So it's very convenient actually. I'll just put it in the fridge so it's cold. <laughs> Do you want to give us a fridge tour? Okay, fridge tour. So we haven't really done a big grocery shop. We're going to do that tomorrow. I love my fruits. So we went and bought fruits. I always have like a full box with any type of seasonal fruit. So these were on sale. I got these blood oranges. Amazing during winter time. And the tangerines, kiwi, you know, all that. We got some veggies. We have a salmon. And then we're always stocked up on oat milk, butter when it's a deal. Oh my god, I haven't shown you guys. Maybe if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, but the little freezer oh box. My god, look at that. I made this for my girlfriend for her Valentine's gift. I mean microwave oven. They're all the same. It's Samsung because I just felt like they had the neatest look and I like their appliances. Have all my plates here. Like I I love collecting ceramics when I'm in other cities. So like these are Japanese ones. Then I have a bunch from like Vietnam. Then like my current, like I needed some plates. So the Scandinavian look that I showed in my last vlog from Itala. Oh, this lamp. I found this at Noriska Galeria, which is like um like the burnt doors of like furniture like yeah everything everything in there is gonna cost you a month's salary exactly <laughs> but they had an archive sale and this is originally from flus but this edition was a one by one piece from a designer that i forgot the name already but i have it somewhere i'm gonna write it down this is a unique piece Otherwise, it would have just been plain white. This lamp is from Korea, but I use it for decor as well. But you can actually like, you can configure it to whatever look you want. So like if you want to change its shape, which I thought was very fun. I have a slight lamp obsession. So like whenever I find a lamp overseas, I tend to bring it back home in my suitcase. And then here are some magazines. It's me and Mickey on the cover. <laughs> yes, yeah, you guys, it's your guys' first yeah, magazine cover first together. Magazine cover for Scandinavian mind. Yeah. Moving on here to the dinner table. This is a gorgeous piece that is travertine stone, all natural. It's the heaviest table I've ever carried in my life. Uh, we had to be five people to bring it in. I thought that my spine was gonna rip out from from my body because it was so heavy. It's two pieces and I think like just the top piece is 100 kilos. I got this second hand and then I found this beautiful lamp in Japan. It's the Isamon Noguchi Akari lamps. Yes, I did bring it home on the How plane. How did you bring it home? I just paid for oversized luggage. The best deal you can ever make is just buying brands from its original country because I kind of save like 70% on just getting it there. Like, I don't even think they sell this one in Sweden, honestly. You can switch the color. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that the one that's just from Ikea? Yeah, this is just Ikea, like, like bulb. LED bulbs. Yeah. These chairs are also secondhand. Like, I am looking to get them swapped out, though, because they actually don't fit the table, which was very unfortunate when I got them. Uh, but then it's just a commitment to find new chairs, so I've, I'm still looking. It's been two years. I have these gorgeous candle holders from Postpotten, and the, these are coasters from Skirtuna. Here are my gorgeous togos. So I managed to get these before the TikTok hype. I managed to get three pieces, so a three-seater, a two-seater, and a one-seater, and then like shipping on that. So I think like all in all it was roughly like twenty five thousand, which is like slightly under two thousand five hundred dollars. And then I found this table secondhand as well. This is also Lignerosea. I found this on Blocket. Love Blocket. It's like a Swedish eBay. Yeah, kind of. And then I just have like some some cute books and photo books here. And then this rug. So I had to find a rug 
that was like interesting in both shape and color. So I found this from Mush Studios. It's like two gay guys in Brooklyn, I think, <laughs> that just started tufting rugs during the pandemic and then now they made a whole business out of it. So I got this shipped from New York. And then here I also have Media Bench, also the US Impaler, which is the same from the sideboard that I also built. Here's like where I keep all the technical stuff like laptops, camera stuff, yada yada. And all the Hello Kitty stuff. And all the Hello Kitty stuff. <laughs> and then here I have all my purses. I need to do a little purge because it's getting full. So you guys won't be able to see what's in that. The switch, of course. And my adorable Vivian Westwood lighter. So cute. <laughs> Just for all my candles. My TV, my 65 inch Samsung TV. What can I say? It was like. You got it, did you get it on Black Friday? 100%. <laughs> I was a projector bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. The jump from projector to TV. Oh is my life god. Changing. Life changing. Life I feel changing. like. If you can, when you can, just get the TV. Like the projector is cute and all, but it's just not the same. Moving on then, we have my ex makeup table that now turned into Mickey's office space. We actually work very great from home as well, so now we mostly go to the office when we have like shoots or whatever. So here's where Mickey works. And then if we go here, we have the balcony and it's not really the so cute right now. I can take you back here in summer because like we have a cute couch and all, but now it's just, it's not it. I love this view. I'm gonna have this view for another year. If you look here, we have during better days, we do have a view of oh yeah, of the water, this little lake, which is cute. Heading into the only room, the bedroom. It's not really that much in the bedroom. We like low beds, Asian style. Love it. We recently got new bed sheets. Very crisp. Very nice. And then in here we also have the built-in wardrobes that i wouldn't say i've designed but i've like chosen the style like <laughs> we renovated these and i needed some with like maximized storage basically so i have for my jewelry i have uh, here's accessories and glasses and all of that and then i also have one for all the dresses and we added lights in here as well because it just makes it looks so much nicer you know and then in here i have all the shirts skirts and bottoms and this getting a bit full i need to do a clean out these are also from ikea like the interior so it's a uh, the packs i'm sure you've you've heard of them these doors are from a danish brand called reform so it's actually brushed steel i wanted them to go like all the way up but they didn't have the size and I felt like this is just my first apartment, you know? I felt like it would be too big of a project to get like custom, custom doors. So maybe for the next one, you know? Then this little stool here is actually a very cute designer piece from Popo that I found in Denmark and best believe I brought that home on the train like I, I carried that shit home So it functions both as a chair and a little bedside table and the mirror is from mass productions I got it at their sample sale. It's actually a whole piece of Steel I didn't realize it when I bought it, but it gives you like is it like one of those funny mirrors that you yeah. look like a mirror hall? Yeah, it makes you look snatched, but maybe that's a good thing because I'm just like, instead of like body dysmorphia, it's like the opposite. And then you walk out and you're like, oh, this is a vibe. But yeah, a cute little mirror. Yeah, I need to find a bedside table on this side. I just am very indecisive and it takes a while for me to get all my pieces. So for now, I just have some some random coffee books that I've just placed here. And then we have this light that I forgot the name of already. It has a dimmer and it looks like a little moon. Very cute. Yeah. And then the last part of the tour is of course the bathroom. I'm gonna tell you all its features. So heated floors. During winter time, it's just so nice. Accidentally fallen asleep on this floor. 
when we had a cat coming here to visit it was just laying here all day it's so nice we have actually haven't had to redo anything when we purchased the apartment so the bathroom was already looking really nice but here of course I have a lot of storage and can you tell that I am an organized queen so I have different little Muji storage units for all the different products because uh, I do receive a lot of gifting whenever someone comes over it's like do you need a serum? do you need a cleanser or a whatever? this is like my daily necessities and then this one is like hair stuff and like all the this normally I just put it up there for the sake of the video because it's, it doesn't fit anywhere the Listerine it doesn't fit so I'm just gonna put it there <laughs> so I have my washer and my dryer here and then the little bathtub I'm gonna show you two things that are life-changing not life-changing life but like some of the best purchases I've made do English people call this squeegees because I've heard squeegees but what what is this called Whatever, please help me in the comments. I don't know what this is called in English, but it's the best thing. So now water gets wiped off and then I just hook it on here and you can barely see it. It's really nice. And then I have like the same type of system for like my little whatever I can call this. What's this called? A shelf? Yeah. <laughs> A shelf? <laughs> my English just like left, <laughs> left my brain. <laughs> It's also the 3M sticker, so I haven't had to drill or anything, but it looks really neat. Can you tell I love chrome details? <laughs> yes, that's what I love. One criteria for when I was looking for an apartment is that the toilet has to be wall mounted because my biggest pet peeve is just like all the dust that collects around like if it's placed on the floor because like I've had that struggle with so many apartments that I used to live in. So I just wanted a wall mounted toilet to make it easier to clean and it really does so i figured i had to have the same with the toilet brush so it's a matching set with the brushed steel and then here i have my little aesop store and this cute little like walnut tray tray thank you maya <laughs> uh we found in vietnam i also have like my makeup here this is just like my daily makeup that i managed to fit in here since mickey has uh, stolen my makeup table and then all my liquids are in here back to the hallway oh the mirror is like i've had it since my first apartment i moved into and it's just like an old h&m home but yeah it was lovely having you guys over but i'll see you next time bye